This guy randomly scored 50 points on the Hawks despite being a career 5.5 point per game player. And why not? He's hot. Here he goes down the lane of the rim, lays it up, lays it in! Off the high glass! Malachi Flynn now has a better career high than NBA legends like Kevin Garnett, Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard or PG. This was so unexpected that late in the game his teammates were super hyped about the 50 despite them losing the game. Ball dislodged ahead to Malachi, lays it up, lays it in! 50 points for Malachi Flynn off the bench! It's interesting that even early on you could see him feeling like he had it and there was some extra pep in his step. Look at the moves, the bounce from him. Now, it's not always that players have this bounce when going for 50 points. In fact, Andre Miller did it while literally walking up and down the court. This is a true old man game. Hit on the elbow and a three-point opportunity. <laughs> Unbelievable. In 2010, Miller went from the worst game of his career, scoring two points, to his career-high night of 52 in back-to-back -back games. That's actually impressive. What's also impressive about this performance is the fact that Andre shot just one three-pointer, ending 22 for 31 from the field. Passed up the three. Miller down the right side, scars again, and we're tied. I'll 52 tell you, points. What a game. At the end of the game, Miller was absolutely gassed from all that shooting. Yeah, uh, played bad the last three games after the long road trip, a little bit tired. Moving on from one of the slowest guys to one of the quirkiest jump shots in NBA history. Garcia, Kings have the numbers, Martin spaces out for three, yes sir. Despite it looking a bit funny, Kevin Martin could go lights out with a shot. And in 2009 against Golden State, he was money from everywhere on the court. Now, Martin's unorthodox movements made him one of the best at drawing fouls and that was the case in this game as well, as Kevin scored 23 out of his 50 points at the free throw line. Next, Corey Brewer was a solid NBA role player and an NBA journeyman playing for 8 teams in his career. However, for one night in 2014, he was the talk of the league. Right on time. Corey Brewer! Everything he's throwing up is going in tonight! He should try to kick one in to see if it goes in. Brewer exploded, scoring 51 points for his Minnesota Timberwolves against the Rockets and did so efficiently from the field, 19 for 30, a spectacular game for a career 9 point per game scorer. But this is nothing compared to what Karis LeVert did. Steps in, LeVert, oh he's got it, a 3! The Wawu Cabarro working around the perimeter, LeVert. Oh, he's smoking hot! Karis LeVert, yes sir, from downtown! In the wildest performance of 2020, right before the shutdown, Karis LeVert single-handedly brought the Nets back from down 10 with 3 minutes to go and fought for overtime. Next on TNT, the 76ers take on the Lakers. LeVert, oh, he can't miss! Karis LeVert is smoking hot! On his way to 51 points, LeVert scored 37 in the fourth quarter and overtime and actually outscored the entire Celtics team in this time span, 37 to 36, absolutely astonishing. Fade, oh he's a one man wrecking crew, 50 for Karis LeVert. Moving on, there's another instance of Kate Cunningham going crazy on the bench for a 50 point performance. This is two seasons ago as his teammate at the time Sadiq Bey went unconscious scoring 51 points on 10 3 pointers. He can't do this. Sadiq Bey is on one! Hey. 17 for 27 from the field and 10 for 14 from downtown. This was truly a masterpiece. Now, when you think of random 50s, Terrence Ross should probably be the definition for that. In 2014, he became the first player in NBA history to score at least 50 while averaging under 10 points per game for a season. Ross, simply put, went off for 51 points on 16 for 29 from the field, including a career-high 10 three-pointers on 17 attempts. Fires away! Yes, he did! Terrence Ross is the boss! Similar to Terrence Ross, Eric Gordon is another guy who could get hot in a blink of an eye. 
Against the Utah Jazz in 2020, not only did he get blazing hot, but he forgot how to turn it off, so he exploded for 50, carrying the Rockets who were without James Harden and Russell Westbrook in this game. That's an incredible shot. That is that is a wild circus shot. There's 50. There it is. Congratulations to Gord. 50 against Utah. Now, this is possibly the most well-known 50-point game by a random player. In the bubble, with everyone watching after the long NBA drought, TJ Warren went absolutely viral with his 53 points against the Sixers. Now that's a heat check. That is a heat check. He caught that three steps behind the three. This fantastic shooting display of 24 29 from the field and 9 for 12 from downtown created a hype around him that he was never able to justify later on in his career. But still, to this day, this is the most iconic random 50 around the NBA circles. Three. Oh, yeah! It's it for 53! Oh, yeah! Next up is Mo Williams, who's probably best remembered as LeBron James's sidekick in the two seasons prior to the decision. But he was a fine scorer in his own right. However, nobody expected this from him in 2015. Williams oh. hits it! I'm telling you, David West was right there. Williams torched the Indiana Pacers for a career-high 52 points while averaging 11 points per game entering that day. This game is often credited as the reason why the Cleveland Cavaliers brought him back for a second stint in 2015, which saw him become an NBA champion. And in 2021, Kevin Porter Jr. became the youngest player to post 50 points and 10 rebounds at just 20 years of age. Porter Jr. again! Kevin Porter Jr. 50 point. Porter Jr. beat out LeBron James, who was the previous record holder at 23 years old. This made him one of the most promising young players in the league, but due to his inconsistency, lack of discipline, and off-court issues, he is now out of the league after just four years of playing. The younger NBA fans need to check out Mahmoud Abdul Rauf on YouTube and watch his 51 point detonation. He was Steph Curry before Steph Curry, firing away from way downtown. Rose to Mahmoud, another three. Got it again! Unbelievable! We got also, we gotta mention Jamal Crawford in this conversation, who's the ultimate heat check player, and not really random per se, but he has the undisputed record of four 50-point games with four different teams, doing it with Chicago, New York, Golden State, and Phoenix. He is in flago. <laughs> heat check. Noted. And of course, Brandon Jennings, who scored his career high of 55 points in his seventh game in the league as a rookie in a head to head battle against his fellow rookie, Steph. Jennings behind the broken screen off the glass! Now let me tell you, he has 50. Could you back it from there? You bet you're having a night. These are the guys that could randomly go off and become a problem. But one guy has been a huge problem in this league despite seemingly moving at 2 miles per hour. Kyle Anderson is the slowest guy in the NBA, and you gotta check out his moves right here in this video. Talk to you in the next one, peace out.